This is a test. For the next few minutes, this DJ will conduct a test of the DJI Air 3 drone. This is only a test. There we go. Take off. Take off. All right, we're at about uh, three or four feet. We've got a stable hover. We're going to spin it around here. Make sure it understands spinning around. And there we are. Testing one, two, three. We're going to spin the rest of the way around. We're going to climb up to uh, to climb up to 200 feet or so. We flew the Autel Robotics uh, Evo 2 the other day while we were waiting for the drone to show up again. And uh, we put new firmware on it, which was a little different, but it featured the coordinated turns, which uh, everybody had been asking for. And that was kind of nice for the waypoint missions. All right, we're uh, about 208 feet in the air. And we're going to go all around to the left. We'll head out to the lake, my uh, favorite destination. We're going to make sure that uh, the RC is uh, capable of controlling it out there. That's about the max distance I can see and keep a uh, visual line of sight. It's about, uh, I don't know, 3,200 feet out there. Still a good, strong RC signal. And we get out to the end of the street here. And we'll turn to uh, see the lake in the upper right corner. There's the fountain, and there's a car. We'll wait for the car to pass, and then uh, head across to the lake. There's the lake and the fountain. We're at 207 feet. And let's slow down. Let's yaw down a little bit. And let's raise it up to 300 feet or so. So far that went well. We're going to turn it around. And let's uh, go into sport mode and let's check that out. And there we go, up to about 43, 44, 43 miles an hour. We have very little wind right at the moment. And now we're about 500 feet away. Let's fly, if we can, over our home point. Speaking of home points, uh, there it is, right at the bottom of the screen.
Let's drop down, straight down, so we don't get over this car that's going by. And we'll come down to 120 feet or so. Go get in some shade. It's not that hot today, but uh, I can see the screen better if I don't have the sun glaring on it. And now it should follow me down the street from behind. Let's get it out of the street so the car can go by. Over on the sidewalk to stay away from the street. And let's send it off to the side here. Now it's following me from the side. And let's send it to the front. And let's drop it down some. Now we'll turn around and tell it to follow me from the back. And head back to home. Aside from having to relearn the user interface after uh, four or five days of uh, not flying this drone and flying a different one, uh, was interesting. Somehow I remember spotlight lighting up the go symbol before you hit active shots. But maybe you have to hit manual, I don't know. We'll try it when we get back to the home spot. Meantime, we can see that uh, obstacle avoidance worked okay. And we'll see in just a minute what it does with this tree, whether it ducks underneath or goes out to the street and around. Well, it says space too narrow. And we just crashed. <laughs>